Hail, friends. Hail, truth seekers. This is your video about the betokening, the meaning of hippos, of hippopotami. But first, a word from our sponsor. Look, there will be a time when there will be a perfect master in your time, and it is up to you to determine whether or not you follow. The word hippopotamus is a foreign word. In our speech, it means river's horse. The river's horses are more closely akin to whales than they are to horses. If you want to strengthen these traits, whereabout I am about to tell to you, then add sights of the river's horse to your wall, to the composition of your artworks. Animal is a foreign word. The plural form is animo. In our speech, the proper word for all animo is deer. However, the word deer that we need to use in this video has come to be misunderstood. Therefore, heed me when I say to you that whenever in this video I use the word deer, I mean all animo. The sight of any deer, for example, in a painting or in a mandala betokens our traits. The sight of any deer betokens our instincts and could be a message from the unknown part of our mind. If the deer is a domestic one, then we sway those feelings. We sway those feelings. We fit into our surroundings. Wild deer, hidden feelings. We do not sway, but the feelings may sway us, causing us not to fit in to our surroundings. Rivers' horses are deer of the water. So, to understand them, we must understand water and that which it means. Water, our feelings and thoughts, our ways, that whereof we are unaware, unknowing, or else psychic. Water betokens emotion and unreasonable and instinctive responses, motives. Water betokens the whereabouts in our body below our diaphragm. In Bible, water means below our diaphragm. Above diaphragm is known. Below diaphragm is either unknown or else psychic. Fertility and pregnancy come from below our diaphragm and the emotions that lead to pregnancy also. So a river's horse in the water betokens some of our desires and our feelings. Water means to be quenched. It means also our ability to change, to adapt, to fit in, to fit in, to fit in our surroundings and for us to spread out. A river's horse in water means all of these things and more. How about flowing water? Rivers' horses abide in rivers. What betoken rivers? I, even I, shall tell to you that which betoken rivers, even now, Flowing water restores emotional freedom, whereas, on the other hand, a swamp, 
bog, mer, or quagmire might betoken emotional hang-ups and stagnation. Yet, swamps are extremely fruitful, nevertheless. A river means that the energies are flowing, the emotional energies. Here are some of the meanings. Number one, the passage of time. A river's horse stays in the same wise despite the passage of time. Two, the ability to withstand the currents of being in a body. Three, joyful pleasures. Four, peace. Five, wealth. Six, control of the border. Rivers' horses guard their homeland, and so if you are an outsider, then they betoken the foe. All live in being be <laughs> Let's start the game. All living beings in the bailiwick of the river's horse must have the river's horse to keep alive. Their being alive is bound to the doings of the river's horse. The fishes, the birds, the plants all need the river's horse to keep alive. The river's horse stays with its own group. Deer who stay in groups have been said to betoken wealth. One diviner said so, that those kinds of deer who stay in groups betoken wealth. According to the knowledge of the mind, it will make sense if those kinds of deers betoken inner harmony. It will make sense if the kind of deer who stay in groups betoken parts of us that fit well together, that fit together well with singleness of aim. Here are some of the betokenings of the river's horse. Bigness. Group dominoes on an emotional plane. Hidden from sight are traits, our thoughts, our motives. Not showing to others who we are. The hidden unknown basis for a group's unity. Gumption, hidden strength. In art, we want our good tokens to face toward us and either straight toward us or toward the right and upward rather than toward the left or downward. However, if the individual piece is a mandala, then we want four parts to move in a clockwise circle so that the top part faces to the right, the bottom part to the left. The left part faces upward and the right part faces downward. That way, when you put them all together, the elements form a clockwise going. Any deer in a work of art ought to be friendly and happy. To make it white, or to add wings to it, will increase the strength of its goodness for us. If a deer talks to us, that betokens high 